Hi everyone, this is Sean. Welcome back to my channel. If you like these types of videos, please press the like button, subscribe, share, comment. Always looking forward to the dialogue. Always looking forward to reading the comments. Today we are going to review a security company, a licensed private security company in the state of California. They are better known as SGV Patrol. That's SGV Patrol. What we do on this channel is we review your social media presence. If you leave your Facebook open, if you leave your Instagram open, you leave your YouTube channel open, everything that you leave open is subject to criticism on this channel. And what I ultimately want to do is I want to educate everybody. I want to educate, I want to throw the names of the security companies out there that are doing a good thing. For those companies that need to improve, we are critiquing their social media presence. Now keep in mind though, that this is just social media presence that I'm critiquing. I'm not critiquing the way that they do business out there. You can't judge a security company fully just on their social media presence. You have to go out, talk to the clients, you have to talk to the security officers, you have to talk to the, the management, and, and that's a better way of doing things. But what we're doing on this channel is just reviewing the social media presence. So if you have any other security companies in mind, don't hesitate to drop their name in the comments or send me an email as well. If you are a security company and you don't like the review that I made of, of your company, also the review that we made on this company, because there's a lot of comments that go in the comment section box below, just reach out to me and let's see what we can do. Maybe we could do a follow-up video. It, 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 just, it, it just depends on how receptive you are to this feedback. I might even take this video down. It just, once again, it depends on how receptive you are to the feedback. So number one is I went to their website. I went to the SGV Patrol website. And it says this, SGV Patrol, the security service recommended by police. Well, number one, they spell recommended wrong. That's minus a point. And I really didn't like the way that they mentioned police. So they put the security service recommended by police that, that's already a warning sign when a website when a private company makes an assertion that law enforcement that a government entity is backing them up so the next question that i like to know is by who who is recommending you now if you have a retired police chief from somewhere or a captain or a sergeant or an officer from a department that maybe the president of an HOA, maybe I personally will list Jose Gomez, former chief of police for San Francisco, highly recommends SGV patrol, something like that. But because there's no specific agency name, I, I just I just didn't like that. This this is not this is not good. There's now in in the bio section, well where there should be a bio section of this webpage, there's no name of who owns this company. I mean, I know who owns the company just by their PPO number, but who's the leadership? Where is their, their bio? Now, if you are a, a sworn law enforcement officer, you're currently a law enforcement officer, you may not want to have your bio up there. And that's just because you don't want your, your, your business life to interfere with your professional life professional referring to being a law enforcement officer. So I, I can see that. But the way that this company ran on, on social media, I seriously doubt that this person has a law enforcement background. Okay, number two, patrol cars. I have serious reservations about these patrol cars. It, all the patrol cars say, the ones that I saw on social media, it just says SGV patrol. And the word patrol is bigger than SGV. And then it says emergency 911. That's all I see. Now, there's a supervisor car that had a, a circular logo on it, and, and it was really hard to tell what it said. But on none of the photos did I read the words private security or security patrol. Those words are supposed to be on the sides of the car and onto the rear of the unit as well. And they have to be within a, read, a, reasonable, a readable size readable from 50 feet away. I didn't see anything, nothing at all. And by the way, really only people who are from the SGV know what SGV stands for. It stands for San Gabriel Valley. 
So what this does to me is, you know, I put my 74 year old mother in front of these, in front of these units and she would most likely believe that the, the name that, that this security company is a law enforcement agency. It's SGV patrol. To me, just looking at it, it looks like it's it, like this company or this, this assigned patrol unit belongs to a specialized task force. I mean, SGV patrol, that is, it's a misleading statement. That's just my opinion. It may not be your opinion as well. To add to some legitimacy, they put the words emergency 911 on it. Okay, that's normally what you see on police cars, emergency 911. I I would say that they would go down a whole grade just for that. I don't know what you what do you guys think? Do you think that they're trying to portray themselves as a government entity cuz cuz I believe so. And the argument might be made, "Hey, you know what? You should know the difference between patrol and a law enforcement agency." A lot of people don't know the difference. Guys and gals, and their uniform, their uniform, they look like sworn law enforcement officers. Um, so, uh, so, one other thing that I notice is they like to park in front of or near law enforcement vehicles. So, there's a picture of their vehicle parked next to an LAPD canine unit, and I have to admit that their unit actually looks better than the than the LAPD canine unit, but they're parked next to them. Um, they're, pe- they're parked next to a West Covina police unit. They're parked next to um, a L.A. County Sheriff's Department unit as well. You take pictures like this, it gives people the impression that you have that you have cooperation w- with local law enforcement. And maybe they do. Maybe they do. I'm not saying that this is a bad thing. I'm just saying that that's usually what type of impression that, that they have. And I'm almost sure that you probably have the law enforcement agencies that park somewhere maybe they went to go eat and it almost looks like they just position their unit right next to them for the photo op i could be wrong um number three there's a video of there's there's a couple of videos and photographs of the sgv officers detaining somebody for a burglary and these people are they're sitting down a curb or they're laying flat on the floor with their chest down um and they'll they'll leave the They'll leave a caption of loser breaking into our client's property. Now, I actually, I, I love it when there's photos on social media of people committing crimes and they're busted. Other criminals, crooks, they see their pictures up there. Their friends see their pictures up there and they basically tell each other, hey, let's not mess with this property. This is protected by SGV patrol. Um, I believe that it it works as a form of social validation that this type of activity is not warranted. Um, but what I didn't like is the manner in which they were detained. So there was there was a guy that's that's face down. I think he has his shirt off or barely on. I don't remember right now. But his hands aren't invisible. And then they're taking a they're taking a photograph of this guy when he's face down. I don't know if this is body camera. Maybe this could be a body camera shot, but in another video that I saw that had a similar frame dimensions, um, that was done with a cell phone camera because the, the camera and the cell phone because I could see the reflection of the, of the cell phone. So I hope that they're not jeopardizing their officer safety to take a social media portrait at that point in time. If you want to be a leader in the security industry, you, you got to show the right tactics, and I'll, I'll, I, have mer- I have further on that as well. Um, also, when people commit these types of crimes, like burglary, especially burglaries, a lot of times they're high. I don't like to have them positioned with their chest on the ground like that, guys. You can have positional asphyxiation. Obviously, it depends on if there's more weight, but sometimes their own weight can can suffocate them. So I, I didn't like those photos. I like the fact that they took a photo of these people who are breaking into property, but I didn't like the positioning of them. Um, I believe that they should have at least handcuffed. I mean, if you have enough to detain somebody at at gunpoint or even taser point, then you have enough to put handcuffs on them. You you you, you absolutely do. And another photo that I saw, they had the zip ties on the person. I don't know why they wouldn't use their their issued handcuffs. So I I, I didn't like that. You they get a minus a point for that or minus, minus a portion of of, of a grade. Um, the censored faces, I know that in 
in the special operations community, you see a lot of guys, their faces are censored. In law enforcement, um, all the classes that I've been to that are law enforcement related, when somebody's working um, undercover investigations, usually they're assigned to a narcotic task force. In, in these group photos, they always want their name, I'm sorry, their, their face blurred out. Here, I, I just don't see the I just don't see the, the purpose of doing that. Maybe to give others the impression that these guys are are highly sought after. Um, they work a specialized detail somewhere where identity is is paramount. I, I, I don't know, guys. It just it just looks strange to me. Um, and then another tactic that I didn't like is you have a security officer about to enter through an open gate. And then his buddy backlights him to take a photo op. Now, I don't know if it, if it was just a social media photo op and they weren't really checking the property, but I would be pissed off if my partner was in back of me illuminating my back so that so that those who are on social media can see the, 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 the lettering of SGV and they see him about to enter. I, I, just, I just didn't like that. It just really got underneath my, my skin. Some of you might be thinking, hey, what is what positive aspects, characteristics of the security company based on the social media? What do you see? I like the fact that they're hands on. I love that fact. I know that a lot of you guys are hands off, especially those of you who own security companies. But I like to be a hands on security company. I like to get my hands on people who are committing crimes. I like to make those arrests. Um, that's I want to say that's a positive trait. Now, ultimately, if I had to give them a grade, and again, this is just subjective. This is just something that I have formed here. I would give them somewhere between a C- minus and a D plus. And I think right now at this moment in time, that's me being generous. Either a C- minus or D plus. Feel free to disagree. What really pisses me off, so early in the morning, I, I, I communicated with one of my subscribers who is starting to form a security company. You know who you are. And he has to go through all types of loops, hurdles, and a lot of stress and a lot of money just to make his company legitimate. Um, and he didn't like the fact that I was easy on Black Knight Patrol. Um, he he didn't he didn't like that fact. And sitting here now making this video, I understand where he's coming from. Maybe I should give them a letter grade down as well. Um, but. A lot of you guys on this channel, you do what you have to do in a legal way, and it might not be the easy way. It might be the long route, and it's a lot of hard work, but what, what I see here is somebody taking the shortcut. They're taking the short route, and I don't like that. If, if all of us were able to just put three letters in the word patrol and not put private security or security patrol, we might have a little bit more authority when we make contacts out there with dangerous people or non-cooperative people because they might think that we're the police. Instead, we have to use our brain a lot more. We have to use whatever leverage it is that we have. We have to use our verbal persuasion skills to get people to cooperate. We don't have the weight, the appearance of, of being law enforcement officers. However, here I believe that they cut in line. So that's just my... My personal opinion, feel free to disagree. If you own the security company, reach out to me, reach out to my email address, and I'll consider removing the video. Just, you gotta fix stuff. Maybe I'll have to do a site inspection on you guys, um, or I won't call a site inspection because that gives the hint that I'm a somebody of, of government authority. But how about just a visit, a, a sit down, and you know, I just like to know what you guys are doing differently. That's all I have. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Take care.